This bit of ivy over here at Westcliff is absolutely teeming with ivy bees and there's the occasional wasp in there as well. Now ivy bees were only first spotted here in England in Dorset in 2001 and now they're in quite big numbers especially in the southeast and they'll nest in, in south facing lawns so people often find them in the garden. Just here in this bank alongside this cliff south facing is you can see where they're all digging their holes out. And these are the burrows that the female excavates once mating to lay her eggs in. It's quite a lot of them. Look at that. And here's a male and a female mating. You can see it's a bit of a battle going on. All the males are so desperate to pair up with a female and father the next generation. And there you go, there's one sat on my hand right now having a clean. Aren't they beautiful little things? If you notice a load of ivy bees in your garden, then, then leave them. They're fine. And the way they work is, the, they're our last solitary bee and the male will emerge first, shortly followed by the female. And males are looking out for females all the time. And as soon as the females emerge, they'll take their chance to mate. And the female, after mating, will then go off and she'll dig a burrow underground, normally in a south-facing lawn. And she'll lay her eggs in there with some pollen. So if you see them in your garden in the lawn, just leave them. They're perfectly harmless and, and enjoy their company. And that's where they lay their eggs. And they'll, they'll go on to grubs and they'll eventually emerge this time next year. So they're pretty fascinating. So... September, go and have a look amongst the ivy and see what's going on. Ivy is a very important plant for wildlife and it does not strangle plants, it does not strangle trees. Now if it climbs up a tree, it can make the tree compete for light and if, if the tree is already weak and diseased, it, it won't help the tree, but it doesn't strictly strangle trees. And we need to let ivy grow as much as possible because this time of year it's a vital pollinator and it also provides cover for bats, insects, and in the springtime it provides nesting sites. And it's very low maintenance, so if you've got ivy, please try and leave it to grow. Along here it's brilliant. And if you see a lump of ivy swarmed with bees, it's going to be the ivy bee. And they're harmless, take a look and check them out. But there might be a few wasps in there, so keep an eye on them ones. Cheers.